HMS Black Prince was the third ship of that name to serve with the Royal Navy. She was the world's second ocean-going, iron-hulled, armored warship, following her sister ship, HMS Warrior. For a brief period the two warrior-class ironclads were the most powerful warships in the world, being virtually impregnable to the naval guns of the time. Rapid advances in naval technology left Black Prince and her sister obsolete within a short time, however, and she spent more time in reserve and training roles than in first-line service. Black Prince spent her active career with the Channel Fleet and was hulked in 1896, becoming a harbor training ship in Queenstown, Ireland. She was renamed Emerald in 1903 and then Impregnable 3 in 1910 when she was assigned to the training establishment in Plymouth. The ship was sold for scrap in 1923. HMS Black Prince was 380 feet 2 inches long between perpendiculars and 420 feet long overall. She had a beam of 58 feet 4 inches and a draft of 26 feet 10 inches. The ship displaced 9,137 long tons. The hull was subdivided by watertight transverse bulkheads into 92 compartments and had a double bottom underneath the engine and boiler rooms. The Warrior-class ships had one two-cylinder trunk steam engine made by John Penn and Sons driving a single 24-foot 6-inch propeller. Ten rectangular boilers provided steam to the engine at a working pressure of 20 pounds per square inch. The engine produced a total of 5,772 indicated horsepower during Black Prince's sea trials in September 1862 and the ship had a maximum speed of 13. Six knots under steam alone. The ship carried 800 long tons of coal, enough to steam 2,100 nautical miles at 11 knots. The ironclads were ship-rigged and had a sail area of 48,400 square feet. Black Prince could only do 11 knots under sail, two knots slower than her sister Warrior. The armament of the Warrior-class ships was intended to be 40 smoothbore, muzzle-loading 68-pounder guns, 19 on each side on the main deck and one each fore and aft as chase guns on the upper deck. This was modified during construction to 10 rifled 110-pounder breech-loading guns, 26 68-pounders, and 4 rifled breech-loading 40-pounder guns. The 7. 9-inch solid shot of the 68-pounder gun weighed approximately 68 pounds while the gun itself weighed 10,640 pounds. The gun had a muzzle velocity of 1,579 feet per second and had a range of 3,200 yards at an elevation of 12 degrees. The 7-inch shell of the 110-pounder Armstrong breech loader weighed 107 to 110 pounds. It had a muzzle velocity of 1,150 feet per second and, at an elevation of 11. 25 degrees, a maximum range of 4,000 yards. The shell of the 40-pounder breech loading gun was 4. 75 inches in diameter and weighed 40 pounds. The gun had a maximum range of 3,800 yards at a muzzle velocity of 1,150 feet per second. In 1863-1864 the 40-pounder guns were replaced by a heavier version with the same ballistics. All of the guns could fire both solid shot and explosive shells. Black Prince was rearmed during her 1867-1868 refit with 24 7-inch and 4 8-inch rifled muzzle-loading guns. The ship also received four 20-pounder breech-loading guns for use as saluting guns. The shell of the 15-caliber 8-inch gun weighed 175 pounds while the gun itself weighed 9 long tons. It had a muzzle velocity of 1,410 feet per second and was credited with the ability to penetrate a nominal 9. 6 inches of wrought iron armor at the muzzle. The 16-caliber 7-inch gun weighed 6. 5 long tons and fired a 112-pound shell. It was credited with a nominal ability to penetrate 7. 7-inch armor. The sides of Black Prince were protected by an armor belt of wrought iron, 4. 5 inches thick, that covered the middle 213 feet of the ship. The ends of the ship were left entirely unprotected which meant that the steering gear was very vulnerable. The armor extended 16 feet above the waterline and 6 feet below it. 4. 5-inch transverse bulkheads protected the guns on the main deck. The armor was backed by 16 inches of teak. Black Prince with masts manned by sailors Black Prince was ordered on October 6, 1859 from Robert Napier and Sons in Govan, Glasgow, for the price of £377,954. The ship was laid down on October 12, 1859 and launched February 27, 1861. On 10 March, she ran aground in the River Clyde near Greenock whilst being towed from Govan to Greenock. Her completion was delayed by a dry dock accident at Greenock while fitting out, which damaged her masts. 
she steamed to Spithead in November 1861 with only jury rigged fore and mizzen masts. The ship was commissioned in June 1862, but was not completed until September 12, 1862. Black Prince was assigned to the Channel Fleet until 1866, then spent a year as flagship on the Irish coast. Overhauled and rearmed in 1867 to 1868, she became guardship on the Clyde. The routine of that duty was interrupted in 1869 when she and Warrior towed a large floating drydock from Madeira to Bermuda. Black Prince was again refitted in 1874 to 1875, gaining a poop deck, and rejoined the Channel Fleet as flagship of Rear Admiral Sir John Dalrymple Hay, second in command of the fleet. In 1878 Captain H.R.H. Duke of Edinburgh took command and the ship crossed the Atlantic to participate in the installation of a new Governor-General of Canada. Upon her return Black Prince was placed in reserve at Devonport, and, reclassified as an armoured cruiser, she was reactivated periodically to take part in annual fleet exercises. Black Prince was hulked in 1896 as a harbour training ship, stationed at Queenstown, and was renamed Emerald in 1903. In 1910 the ship was moved to Plymouth and renamed Impregnable 3 when she was assigned to the training school HMS Impregnable before she was sold for scrap on February 21, 1923. Thanks for watching.